Joining me after that 3-2 overtime win against the Swindon Wildcats, I've got uh, the two goal scorers, uh, Glenn Billing and James Ferrara. Glenn, we'll start with you. Never in doubt, really. <laughs> no, um, no, it was a good hockey game. Uh, two good teams, and that's the games we want to be a part of. So it was really fun, and uh, luckily we came out the right side of it. So yeah, good, good for all involved, I think. Uh, and did I hear you right? You were just about to go for a change rather than go forward. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, pretty tired. Uh, I was going to go for a change, and then uh, Jimmy got his stick broken in half. So um, I had to go trap back and get the puck, and then uh, I just felt Eddie on my shoulder, so I felt like I had a, a final burst of speed, even though my lungs weren't feeling it. Um, and um, yeah, we got three and two, and Robert gave me a nice pass, and I managed to put it on. So yeah, good. Um, you got the man of the match beers, but uh, they could have gone to James. James, two goals. That's some hockey game tonight. Yeah, it was a great game, great performance um, from both teams. You know, there's two really good teams battling out for, for first place effectively tonight. Um, and, you know, they're the games, as Glenn, you said, you want to be a part of. Um, they're the games we want to experience. Um, they're not too good for everybody's nerves, but, uh, you know, whether we had the momentum or they had the momentum, we stuck in it. Uh, we, we executed, I think, a lot of our tacticals play really, really well tonight. You know, Slava switched a few things up you know mid period sometimes and uh, the way the guys responded was excellent um, and, you know they threw a lot at us tonight Marzi in goal had a great game um, and then from every single player defensively you know in attack five units of five we were just together you know together even when things weren't going our way maybe calls didn't go our way um, you know we stuck out it stuck to the system and worked for each other I think uh, maybe it'd be fair to say the last couple of games we've been slow at the traps perhaps not so much today and we did well to come back to their opener and uh, and then obviously in the second period we were on top when they when they got their second their equaliser. Um, it could have gone either way, I think. Yeah, it could have done. I think in the second period we had a especially first 15 minutes had a lot of the a lot of the play, a lot of good chances, and maybe unfortunate to not be a couple behind, but a uh, couple behind, a couple ahead. Sorry, at that point, um, and then obviously they got their goal and a bit of momentum at the end. But that's what happens when you play a good team. Sometimes it doesn't go your way. Um, so yeah, it could have gone either way in the third. A lot of tactical systems being played I think from both teams to try and shut each other out um, but you know up steps this guy and uh, you know pulls one out of the bag at the end when we needed it. Uh, yeah and, and can you just put it into context there's an awful lot of hockey to be played in the season but but those games we talked before about splitting the series with the with the Wildcats with the with the Bees with Basingstoke minimally that's a huge uh, a huge performance and it sets us up for Friday as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think you touched on it before. The last couple of games we've been a bit slow, maybe at times. Um, but, you know, tonight on our home ice um, sets us up nicely for Friday again on home ice um, with, a, with a, again, a standard and an expectation of, of how we need to go out, go out, go about these big games. Um, you know, so roll on to Friday. A lot of rest, I think, is needed. The guys, we've had a lot of games recently. Um, so look, look to, to roll ahead and, and, and use the momentum from tonight to, to look for Friday. And just finally, I thought the crowd, it was a big crowd and I thought they were behind you all the way. Sense of injustice at the end, uh, certainly with, uh, with Scott Robertson's penalty rather than maybe Tom's, but, but uh, the noise in here, the old barn was rocking. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, I think you, you mentioned it maybe a month ago or so on an interview here, how good the crowd was, but tonight I think they tops that even. Um, you know, right from the first puck drop, I remember having a shift, first shift, coming and sitting down um, and thinking, wow, there's a lot of drums going and it's, it's right at the start of the game. Um, and, you know, it didn't stop all night and it only got louder and louder. Um, and, you know, I'm glad that uh, obviously a lot of the fans are entertained tonight. Um, there's a bit of a spectacle, a spectacle for them um, against a team, obviously, that we're looking to even or better the series against, as you said before. Um, so we, we've gone ahead slightly at, at, after three games against them. Um, and, uh, you know, we want to keep that momentum going. And, you know, the sixth man tonight was amazing for us. Congratulations tonight, both of you. Um, games like these are the games to play in, and we look forward to a cup final. Those are the games to play in as well. See you next, uh, well, Friday. Cheers. Cheers.